It was a good run, guys. Subaru got so far, but at the very end, he got mauled by a bunch of witch fiends by trying to protect Rem, who had no need to be protected, in my opinion. She was on berserk mode, got the only horn out, fighting. And then, yes, she was about to get blindsided, but I doubt it would have done much. And bro tanks it all. And it's crazy that he did that. Now, I don't think that these are lethal attacks because I didn't see a single limb being cut off, and it seems to be relatively minor injuries compared to a lethal injury, I think the run is still going to be safe. But right now, Rem is just putting on a show. It's just so unfortunate when... Just could you imagine if Rosbold was around, just like flying around right now and just dropping bombs onto the forest and just saving us? It just conveniently bro is out of the mansion doing what... Who knows what? Talking to someone that he hates. It's like, all right, fine, whatever. Other than that, what are the most important things going on? The bald dog shaman was confirmed. And amongst the orphans, the kids, there is a very suspicious one. It's the purple haired one with the dead mom uh, single braid on the side that was always delivering the shaman dogs to the Subaru in each run. And she's suspicious because Subaru didn't even remember her fucking name. She knew, he knew so much details of every kid, their names, their motives, their ideals. But like, except that purple kid who just happened to have the dog. And another core point that goes to this is the barrier got broken, right? There's these crystals, these different barriers that's supposed to guard against the forest. Yet it was broken from within, meaning there is a traitor amongst us and we have a suspect so that purple haired braid girl is very fucking suspicious right now unless it's someone else entirely different and i'll take my words back um other than that i think that's pretty much it let's begin today's reaction <laughs> wait are we waking up from the bed wait 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 did we actually reset wait <laughs> No, 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 these are just the flashback memories, right? That's Amelia's hand, I think. No, 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 this is supposed to be when Elsa fucked us up and we got, we got brought here. And then his blood loss as well as organ damage, Betty helped, but Rem and Rem also held her hand. This is a flashback to that, but like, in like every reset, we never saw this point. So I don't think we've reset. I think these are just flashback memories. Hmm? Rem said that? Let me change my headset. Hold up. Well, this is not the same bed. Are we watching the right episode? This is episode 10, right? Because we ended up with him getting bitten and then he passed out. So I guess then we recovered his body and then now he's safe, right? Sorry, guys. Sorry, technical difficulties. Alive. That's a lot of scars, though. Dude, look at those scars on him. It looks pretty cool. Where are we? Amelia. What the fuck is going on? So she came and saved us? Yeah? Puck? Puck? Morning. That was so unnecessary. What the fuck? That's kind of cute but scary at the same time. What? Yo, what that mouth do, Puck? What that mouth do? Scary. Rem took care of us. So I guess the events that happened earlier on was actually not the events that I was talking about when Elsa fucked him up. But like him getting patched up and healed up and Rem being so determined to save him no matter what right there, right? Also, wait. Though thanks to her demon transformation, she heals really fast. Okay. So I don't know what triggers that, but it seemed like it was like a second phase when she was like took lethal damage or something. Then she got the Oni Horn coming out. That's a demon transformation. Regeneration good. We're good? Everything's good. Okay. This is a little anticlimactic though. I wanted like to witness the rest of the... 
you know, conflict being solved, but I guess everything just got solved after we woke up. Yeah. What did she say? What did she say? In order to heal you, Odo. Dude, some dude literally commented on my video saying, <laughs> That's not how you pronounce that word. It's not Odo. It's O space Do. And I'm like, Odo. Odo. I said Odo. And what does Puck say here? I want you to hear what Puck says here in the Japanese pronunciation. Are you ready? Odo. How the fuck are you gonna tell me that that's not how you say it and you just enter a white space as if that's supposed to be a different way to pronounce it? Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, besides that, besides getting mauled, hold on, we're getting distracted. Um, what, what do we know about the Odo? The Odo? The Odo is supposed to be something you can break, right? So when Puck is finished with the 9 to 5 and goes to sleep, um, in, in any sort of last de desperation measure, and I think this alludes to her, like, secret final trump card, which basically, like, kills everyone except herself. It's like, you can break the Odo and, like, bring me out, right? So, she drained her resources, mana, I'm assuming, right down to her Odo. I don't know what that is. It sounds like the final reserves, like the last bit we have. Balls you up? Yeah, yeah. Are we hungry? Oh my god, is that gluttony being displayed? Oh, seven deadly sins. Come on. She just shoved that shit. What is that, a sweet potato? What the fuck? That was so violent. Is it good? But it wasn't. It was good. Freshly made. Oh, Freshly steamed. It's not like so easy. Just steaming food. Anyways. Peak. Peak made, bro. Superior twin, might I say for now. Imagine the consequences that Palka of Olgarn, which I'm assuming is the witch fiends, had further endangered those children, right? Because what did she say? When a domain people suffer any losses, its lord is held liable. And the lord is Roswell, right? So, like, this is our domain. This is still our land. This is still like Roswell's jurisdiction. So if anything bad happened here, it makes Roswell look bad. And in terms of a sponsor backing a candidate for the throne, we can't have that happening. So Subaru resolving this in turn actually helps Roswell and be like, nice, we just saved your ass. No, you don't have to. Now you're not going to get defamed for this. But isn't that suspicious? <laughs> Could Roswell then be like, um, this kid was aware that he was suspicious and then solved the problem in a way that makes me look good. But because he did that, it is more suspicious, you know? <laughs> We're never getting out of it, but like, nah, there's, that's, that's too much. We're reaching way too much. Let's go, Barusu. The Hellhounds. Okay. <laughs> You don't shove it down their throats? <laughs> yes. Because Subaru gets the special treatments. No one else gets deep-throated by Ram except Subaru. Okay. I still think that barrier is so suspicious, right? Because, like, the barrier was broken from within. And that kid, the purple-haired kid that I said in the intro, of, like, how we don't... Subaru doesn't even know her name. And she's the always the one bringing the fucking dog. Unless it was just a coincidence. That is still weird. And do we even save her? Did we straight up even save her? Because, like, last episode, we were going in there for her. Because, like, we saved the kids, but then there was one more kid, and then Subaru went there, and there was a pair of feet lying on the ground, but the rest of the torso was covered by log. And then he got baited in, but after that, I don't remember her anymore. Was she still there? I genuinely do not remember that. <laughs> I don't see the purple kid. That's Petra. Purple kid? 
<laughs> Why is he running away? Because of the Appa? What happened here? It's just Appa. His reward. They're saying thank you. Why is he freaking out? Is it like traumatized, triggered by Appa? <laughs> I'm not sure. Like running away from that seems a little bit too much. Betty! Hey, where's the purple kid, Betty? Mm. Yeah, that's right, guys. He was way too prideful to accept the gift at any single point in time. We gotta try to figure out the seven deadly sins and do the mental gymnastics to do it. Uh, what other bullshit can we say about that? Well, there's pride, greed, gluttony, envy, lust, sloth. Oh, he was slothful there, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he did not act and did not take it. So it was a combination of pride and sloth, guys. <laughs> wow, we're so fucking smart. <laughs> Typing on the ReZero subreddit thinking, <laughs> In this run, Super was so prideful with the little bit of sloth. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Just watch the anime. What's up, Betty? Yeah. What? Wait! They we're doing so good right now! Why? I thought the curse is removed! Oh, at least we got the warning, though. Half a day? BP? I thought she dispelled it! It's too deep! <laughs> so, like, when all the dogs bit us, that's basically curses, 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 curses? We just got gangbanged by curses? Okay, but there's too much. Then just burn the fucking threads. Who cares about untying it? Just burn it. And what would the equivalent of burning the threads be in this example? Like, like, if we killed all the witch fiends, is that possible to get rid of the curses? Like, if a curse is acted by one person, if you kill that person, does it go away? Like, how does that work? The curse they cast on you drains the target's mana dry, and they're gonna replenish their mana with Subaru's mana? We're dog food. We're straight up dog food, bro. Hmm, this is pretty weird though, Betty, huh? Betty's like, huh. You're not afraid of death, I suppose. Whoa, you're not as scared at all. Well, because, you know, this is great. Because, like, now we know more. We have more intel on how to, you know, proceed forward. But, like, Betty, of course, is never too suspicious of him, even though she raises questions, huh? Every time, like, like if Roswell heard this shit, it would be so fucking bad, right? But Betty, I think it was partly due to her job as a librarian and, to, you know, to kind of, like, stay out of affairs because she already knew that he was, like, cursed in, like, the first or second run when she said, I suppose I have nothing to do with that, but... It's nice that we can just be this, quite, like, quote-unquote, honest in front of Betty. Huh? Give me a countdown, Betty. From 10. I know you, you're so nice! Because, like, at what point does Satella realize that, hey, enough, you're spoiling! Stop, right? Because, like, you can say shit like this indirectly, it's vague, obscure. He's basically saying. I know you four more times, but like, you're not saying like, I've died and repeated over and over. So like, there are ways to kind of like, talk around the subject, I guess. But it's not zero, right? As long as it's not zero, that's what matters. Burn their whole fucking forest down. The entirety of this witch- Yo, where's Roswell at? Does anyone have destructive magic power? Just, just, just <laughs> eliminate. Call the entire fucking forest. Burn that shit down. Who cares about global warming? I was low key waiting for <laughs> Betty to be like, ah! I, I don't know. When he, when, he, when he did a little fan service here. Fuck is not letting a million know to not panic. Got it. 
それは難易度がマジ鬼がかってきやがるとてもじゃねえけど無理だ諦めるだから諦めるんです他にはレムス Right? Yeah. The conversation in the intro that I mistakenly thought it was the intro scene after Elsa cut Subaru and he got here. No, 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 no. This is when he, you know, after last episode of Rem trying to help no matter what. So, like, Rem is motivating now Subaru to, like, go forward. <laughs> What's happening right now? What the fuck was that? Was that just him having a psychological break due to the events before? What the what the fuck was all of that? I suppose your chest must be hurting. Yeah, I suppose it is, and I suppose we're having a fucking trip right now. But it's all Rem. Rem's words of like trying to save him no matter what is now encouraging him to move forward. Masaka. <laughs> Rem is out there, doing this shit. Killing the dogs. Oh shit, she out in the fourth. We need to get there right now. She, but she could be getting killed. Like, she is in danger, so we need to go right now. Go, 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 go. Rem! Let's go, Rem! I suppose she did. She's already in demon mode. No, Rem. This is Rem's pride, guys. Rem's pride is making her do this by herself to prove something to Subaru. But anytime that you go down that, sin, you need to overcome the sin in order to, you know, surpass those challenges. Let's go together. If I use my clairvoyance, I will. Uh, new skill by Ram. We got clairvoyance that can detect. Okay. What the bugs and animals on my wavelength. Now, I don't know what the fuck it means to be on my wavelength, but she can basically phase in through different, you know, beings in the forest and act as vision. Kind of. Is that how they found Subaru too? In that second or third run? When Rem showed up? Because, like, he was high up on the cliffs. And I thought that Roswell planted some sort of GPS tracking on him in the bag. Because Roswell gave him something in that bag, right? And I thought that he was... But to, like, declare that he put a tracking chip on you as a present would be kind of crazy. But, like, clairvoyance. Okay. She is a combat maid. <laughs> well, you see, in these, like, light novels and, like, different animes... There's maids that can fight, and they're known as combat maids. You're a combat maid, Ram. At least he's aware. Yeah, aren't you Oni? What? I'm hornless. Just like the analogy that she... No, no, no. Not an analogy. We said in the blue, red Oni story, what would you do? And Ram was like, they're all so fucking stupid. I would just break off the horns. Break off the horns. Only story. She's hornless. So is this how the story ties into their backstory? Of whenever the witches called fucked up their village, right? Because like that was also mentioned when Ram was torturing Subaru saying, like, the witches, are you part of the witches called the same that did fuck up my family? So she's hornless. And I don't know why, but it relates to the only story. Yeah, wind magic. <laughs> we saw that before. あきらめるってことなのよ。お前はそれが理解できているのかしら。ちょっとなめぐせなんて食ったらね。命は大事だ。一個しかない。お前らが必死こいて繋いで。だから、みっともなく穴かせて逆転劇を起こそうぜ。
now when he himself straight up says i am this kind of person with the sin in there it's just like whoa so you think he's getting greedy right now trying to get everything and in order to overcome the associations don't you need to surpass that greed but great mentioned oh my god this is the greed run guys Let's go. Now, I don't think that there is a specific theme that we need to focus on. I think that, again, the seven deadly sins comes up quite often. And he himself literally says, like, oh, I'm greedy. I'm very prideful. You know, uh, wrath and all these things. I think that there's, there shouldn't be one thing we focus on. But try to figure out different situations as to what sin might be the theme of that moment. And maybe there's, like, specific turning points of whenever we commit to that. Like, I think, like... I think a lot of people also say, oh, thank you, Orthanus, for the prime. Uh, what was it? Like, the first event of him throwing away his pride is the Reinhardt moment, right? When he asks for help rather than doing everything by yourself, because it's a very prideful thing to think that you can do everything by yourself, no matter what. You're trying to prove, produce a result and trying to prove to people that you have value. But instead, he threw that pride away and asked Reinhardt for help. And then once he threw that away, right, he became, like, he actually made progress. So, like, every time... There may be a theme involved and like a sin involved and the good shit happens every time we like overcome that sin rather than, you know, like lean into it and fall into a rabbit hole. It seems like that's what the story is trying to tell us. Yeah. Carry me then. Ram, give us a piggyback. Ram, give us a piggyback right now. I want to see it. <laughs> His girl voice acting, bro. <laughs> Alright, fine. I don't know if that works, but sure. Rem? The sword? Yo! If Subaru becomes a swordsman, bro, if he, like, fucking learns from Reinhardt, I think that would be the coolest shit. Like, goddamn! Like, imagine if we learned how to use magic from the greatest magician in the country of Lugunica, the continent, the, the kingdom of Lugunica, right? Roswell. And then after we learn magic here, we go to Reinhardt's place and we learn swordsmen there from the best fucking swordsmen. Like, bro, come on! Like, oh, I feel like there's this wasted opportunity! <laughs> Who is this guy? Thank you. Like... <laughs> Is this supposed to be Petra's dad because they both have like the same red ribbon thing? What? Is this like karma helping us because like we saved Petra and the kids and now we're getting rewarded? Yeah, or I'm gonna die. No, I'm gonna die if I stay here, kids. To kill! Yeah, and again, just remember, where the fuck is the purple kid? Dude, the purple kid? That purple girl is so sus because she just disappeared! <laughs> oh? What did they put in there? Is that the boku fruit? I don't know. They put something in his pocket. Is that a boku fruit? I, I, I'm not sure. Got a candy and a stone. And uh... Ew! What's a bug? What the fuck, kids? Oh my god, we just witnessed Subaru's wrath, guys! Whoa! Here's a little bit for you too, Ram. Ram. Hey, there we go! Petra made Ram happy. CCTV! Hey, this May May's power from JJK. Balls! Chief! <laughs> Rem's here! No, that was Ram, that was Ram, that was Ram. Dude, this wind magic's crazy, bro. The wind magic? That's crazy! I. Now, because she doesn't have the horns, I guess she is weaker than Rem in demon mode, right? But this wind magic, though, it's not fucking around. No PTSD. Because when we hear the chains of Rem's weapon, we get triggered. And even though the wind cut our throat off in that episode 7, Subaru, I guess, 
Does he even know it was Ram? And that's why he, and it, it happened too fast, right? It's just like this wind just like whoosh, and just cut your throat off. I guess it's hard to be triggered if you're like, if you don't even remember it because it was too fast. I don't know. He does know. Does he not know? <laughs> Anyways, why is it that everything under the sun loses its head around you? That's a good point. I don't know. He's got the main character factor. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks. 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 Yo, we're just getting roasted. Yeah, horn. Where did your horn go? Did you break it off for Rem? Whoa! Important backstory. Village in fire. Rem and Ram. I think the one on the right is Ram. One on the left is Rem. Blue, red. Ram has the horn sticking out. And then we see a horn being lopped off into the red moon. I'm just going to assume that the witch's cult attacked their village based on what Rem was saying in episode 7. They were enraged and fighting, but for whatever reason, Ram cuts her horn off here? For what? I, it's, it's not like the only story was for them to like get closer and friendly to people. But Rem still has her horn. It, this, this doesn't make sense why Ram would sacrifice the horn. I don't know. おにの癖に角を無くしたのよ。一本しかなかった。別の Oh! Two horn. But only one horn. Just twins. Oh, and then... But still, why did you lose it though? Twins are detested. What the fuck? It's like, if you have twins, that's like abominations because the horns, the pride of their onis has been split in half. They're forming to get rid of them. What the fuck? Like what? What's the danger? Jesus! Does she like lose all sense of selves when she if she goes too berserk? That's a crazy panel. Aww. Ram is so good! She's so aware, but she still takes care of her little sister who is better than her at pretty much everything. But the awareness, bro, look at that. I'm still holding down business as older sister. Okay. What hunch? They'll be drawn here by my attempt to tell her about return by death. They? Satella? Well, that's plural. They. What happens when we try to tell people about our secret? The dark hand comes and grips our fucking balls and threatens us. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. So he did it. He said it, and then birds started climbing. I, I don't know. Something happened. Ram could sense a disturbance, right? What is that? What was that? Does this shit work like a fucking AoE taunt? Like, he threatens to uh, leak the secret. Satala's hand shows up. CBT happens. It hurts, but it doesn't kill. And instead, witch fiends smell beasts going like near. So it, it's like provoke, huge taunt. Huh. That's an interesting usage of that skill. And I'm the stinkiest. So like, is it like an instantaneous thing, or does it is it permanent? Because like we know with each uh, regression, the stench gets worse. And I'm assuming it doesn't go away. It just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. But in these situations where he 
basically threatens to leak. I wonder if it bursts and then resets back to the original place or it just continues to be added. I don't know. Perfect. And off screen. Here's Rem. <laughs> that sound effect, bro. Wait! <laughs> what happened? What the fuck happened? Rem was looking pretty good and now we're carrying her. <laughs> Rem has no stamina. That's pretty impressive. He stopped that fall. Smart, smart. Wow, holding Ram like a princess, though. You there, Ram? Ram? I don't know if that was because she used too much mana or not. Because, like, if you use too much mana, it says premature life force and you're bleeding out. I'm not sure. Was it the impact from before? I'm gonna assume that it was the mana because she was fine here. And then it's like, oh no, she's pretty much done. It's looking pretty bad for us, man. Rev show up. You bald dog! It's still here! It's still taunting! Look at that cute little dog! Excuse <laughs> Does she know though? Is she in berserk mode? I mean, that, that was a little look of relief, so I'm gonna assume she knows. Okay. I don't think she's listened to any of the fucking yap, bro. Yeah, I think that she smells the fucking witch scent and just hunting down a fucking witch fiend blindly. She ain't listening, bro. <laughs> Dude, her kill death ratio is crazy. Bulldog! Show some guts! Again? Bro! Doubling up! Like, what is the limit? How much can we spam this shit? This AoE taunt provoke is very useful, but I wonder what the consequences are other than the stench getting well off. And also right here, Ram Armpit. They really went out of their way to draw extra lines in Ram Armpit in this moment. <laughs> Dude, even Rem is part of the fucking Witch Fiends team now. Dude, are you sure this is gonna help? Like, I guess it kind of like... It, it, it like distracts the Witch Fiends from attacking Rem, but like we're more fucked now. <laughs> Perfect okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. I think. I hope. Maybe. Maybe. Just a little bit. Try it though. What the fuck are we gonna do? We gotta go there and hit the fucking horn? How? I mean, saying I can return by death seems to, like, stun them for a bit as they get angry and, you know, react to the fucking stench. So, is that our time of opportunity? What do we do? What's the plan, big man? Rose Chi? What are you gonna do, bro? <laughs> you just gonna yeet Ram? Alright! Fuck it, let's go! 
Even the dogs are confused, bro. They're like, what are we watching right now? <laughs> Ram does look very cute though, huh? Look at her flying. <laughs> horn, horn. I shouldn't laugh because I would have probably fucked up too. There's no way I could have landed that shit, but it's just... <laughs> I love the little hesitation Sumoto had there. He he was so going in and then he hesitated for a slight second. It's very normal, very reasonable. This is the most realistic right now. Right there, right? He closed his eyes. <laughs> yeah, you choked, bro. <laughs> Wait! The bald dog's still fucking earthbending. Now what? Chill! Chill! I don't really know what's happening with the ground, but I'm assuming it is the bald dog shaman using some sort of attacks, right? Because, like, we've seen that bald dog, like, shift the ground around, right? Demonically possessed! Hey! He said it again! Did it land? Did it land or what? Come on! Fanatical methods like a demon and imagine? Bro, imagine? What happens if he cuts the horn off? Now both twins don't have a fucking horn. Like, I don't know how this is gonna work, but if he cuts the fucking horn off and Rem has no horn, and both Rem and Rem are useless, dude. That's today's episode of ReZero. Man, I, this is not the way I, I imagined the story to go. I thought that we would wake up and like it would still be the night and we would like uh, keep going. But basically what happened is Subaru sustained a lot of damages and all those different bites were also curses as well. Emilia doesn't know right now because obviously telling her would make her panic and go do something stupid. But we were taking time bomb in half a day or something or six hours. I forget exactly what half a day, less than half a day. The magic of the uh, the, the curses will like the, the curses will activate, and it's gonna like drain the mana back to the witch fiend, which is just we're just cooked, right? So what do we need to do? Basically, go hunt every fucking witch fiend, right? And Rem went to do that, and Subaru realizes, oh my god, I can't believe she's going out of her way to like sacrifice us like that. And in the beginning, with the Rem saying like, you know, I'll make sure to figure out a way so that he'll never, you know, that he can live. There were some great moments of him remembering Rem's lines, like, un kind of, like, unconsciously, and then using that to motivate himself. So, like, Rem and Subaru are getting bonded more. Ram, I think, was very good in today's episodes. Yes, Rem was going crazy, but Ram is just so funny as fuck. And, like, <laughs> immediately, she's like, yeah, I can kill them, and then off-screen, and then we're carrying her, running away. We fucking yeet her as well. This is, like, very funny. The entire episode was like, shit, should I take this seriously or is this supposed to be funny moments? But there's a lot of funny moments happening and I think that this should be the triumphant run. Subaru strike the horn and hopefully it's going to not cut the horn off immediately, but just like make it go back in. But even after that, if Ram and Rem are out of the fight, we still don't really have an answer for the rest of the Witch Fiends. So I won't, I will probably need more backup, but until then... Let's just hold out and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.